Dun, dun, dun. It's time. Uh-huh. We're going to finish the sword. All right, so we're making the scabbard for the Witcher sword. We're going to wrap this project up. Get it done, so I'm done with it. You know what I'm saying? Finito, get it out of here. We're gonna make a pretty sick looking scabbard and then we're gonna put an edge on it. We're gonna take it outside and we're gonna put it to work, you know what I'm saying? So for this project, I have made scabbards out of wood and I made them out of leather and then I made them out of a combination of both. Today, this is entirely out of leather. It's a little bit in my wheelhouse, but I'm gonna be doing some things uh, I've never done before, so bear with me if they suck. The plan is to take this heavy gauge leather, make a simple sandwich sheath, you know, two pieces of bread, you got a little mustard sword in the middle. Then I'm going to sand that down. That's going to be our base. It's going to be glued. Probably not going to bother stitching it because what I'm going to do is take some really lightweight, supple leather. I'm going to stick it in the laser engraver. I'm going to etch a pattern onto the leather with the laser. Uh, I'm going to take the base sheath get it all sanded down and rounded over, take the supple leather, wrap it around, do this stitch down the middle, uh, very uh, classic medieval style of the back of the sheath, you know, a little X stitch, still working on the terminology, still working on the research on that end. So a lot to learn. I tried that stitching before, uh, maybe once or twice, and it was uh, very tough. It was tough and I never did it again. So now coming back at it, the supple leather is engraved with, I'm gonna just find some kind of pattern uh, that looks pretty fantastical. Engrave that on there, uh, put wrap the main sheath, stitch it so we have this nice leather sheath. I want it kind of supple, I didn't want it like a wood core. So that's on and then I'm going to attempt a Damascus locket and shape. That's the like top collar of the scabbard is locket and the little like bottom triangular boot uh, is the shape, I believe if I'm getting that wrong, you know what, just tell me. So I'm going to be making those two pieces out of Damascus. That's going to be quite tough um, because though the best way I can think to do it, I don't really have tools to get such like a deep, make it all in one piece. You know, you almost need um, like a big die to like set that thing that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna make them in a couple pieces and then weld them together. But when you weld steel uh, and then etch it, you can see that splattery weld uh, with the etch. So I don't wanna screw up the Damascus. So I'm gonna have to try some different techniques. Uh, maybe break out the TIG welder. Even that will leave some nasty. But if I can kind of get down inside those pieces where you don't see it and fuse it together from inside, Maybe I can get it to work. So some Damascus fittings, Damascus locket, Damascus shape, dye the whole thing a deep blood red, put some straps on there, some fittings to get this thing wearing on your back and we are good to go.
Five hours. Five hours. It's a little crooked. Just gonna live with it. It'll be just fine. Got this section up here. You know, this piece of leather wasn't long enough, but hey, that's all right. We're gonna cover that with steel. Same with this bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and move to creating uh, all the straps to strap this thing to my back. Now, obviously this is gonna make this These aren't basically based off of video games, so realism kind of going uh, out the window a little bit, shall we say. So, for this, uh, but to get it on my back, you need uh, multiple straps. If you just have like the one, like a satchel strap, that's a no-go because what's gonna happen is you have all this weight up here in the handle and it's just gonna start to like slide and wanna lay almost sideways down your back. So, a lot of people don't realize you need a nice, strap across or like multiple straps across I'm just gonna do the one but then you also need a second point like a belt uh, to hold it on down uh, on your waist much like a belt so I'm gonna take my sheath I'm gonna cut out some thin straps that are about this big fit these small belt buckles I'm gonna do they'll just be kind of wrapped on I kind of like that look of a messy wrap I have the buckle and then I'll have some uh, we got some rings that I bought that'll fit like around in the buckle, in the buckle through them. So you have this ring, uh, and then you have another ring or a clip that'll do your strap. Same down here, wrap, ring, couple rings. That's your pivot point, boom, for your down here and you're up here. You get the idea. I gotta make some more leather. Y'all ever seen a grown man shape? Now you have. All right, everybody, so here's what I'm gonna do is I don't wanna weld on the outside of this um, bucket piece here because then when I go to etch that Damascus pattern, you're gonna see this nasty weld splatter line. Now, it's not perfectly closed and um, 
I'm just not gonna sweat that as far as this little crack. But what I am gonna do is try to weld on the inside of the seam so that this is totally together. Um, it's one piece, but you won't see that uh, weld line. And that weld line happens because the wire in the welder is a mild steel and that's going to be uh, laid on top. And so you're gonna have this kind of bright mild steel um, splatter uh, filler line from the welding wire. So, but if you put it on the inside, it'll be fused, but it's not gonna show on the outside. Once the cap is on, I'm gonna cut, use a Dremel to uh, cut in the slot for the sword to slide through. And then I'm going to uh, get in there and just clean everything up as best I can. Clean up all the forge scale as best I can on the inside, get in there with a Dremel and some different tools, some files. And then what I need to do is cut uh, the leather on the sheath and this should fit the inner core Pretty, pretty darn perfect. The locket's turning out to be much easier so far uh, than the shape. I actually thought the shape was gonna be uh, the easier piece to make, but making that kind of domed triangle on both sides precisely is kind of a pain in the, in the tuchus. So now, I'm just gonna focus on the locket and uh, we'll get to that shape, don't you worry. You know, I thought the I thought the locket was going to be the harder of these two metal pieces, but this uh, shape is uh, kind of racking my brain. It seems really simple, um, creating two triangular cupping pieces that come together and form that bottom piece. But what happens is uh, I got this curved over. You know, this is not cut exactly right, but that's all right. This this is curved over. But then when you come to this tip, it's hard to explain if you haven't hammered, but when you come to this tip, you've got it curved, right? But then it also needs to kind of curve up and kind of come to a boop, boop, a little end, um, which seems simple enough, but it's, uh, it's kind of uh, complex geometry. <laughs> I know it's not, but it is when you're trying to hammer this thing, because as you, hit up, these wanna spread open, and you're just kinda of fighting it, trying to get this perfect little shape, and unless you have a really specific mold um, that you could beat it over, uh, it's kinda of hard to do on the horn, for sure. And then to get two that are the same. Now here's what I'm talking about. If these were uh, mild steel, right, this is just gonna be like a polished uh, metal steel looking shape, um, I would weld up this on the outside, I'd fill up any little gaps you'd see, um, maybe hit those welds down with a hammer a little bit, blend it all in with a grinder, clean it all up, boom, you'd never see it. But I cannot do that uh, with this Damascus steel. Once again, it will leave a nasty uh, weld splatter line. But what I'm gonna do is go on the interior with the welder and try to put in some, uh, put in some tack welds wherever I can, definitely up top, and then farther down, however far down I can. I don't wanna make it have a big nasty splatter in there because it's gonna be really hard to clean out. So if I get it uh, pretty held together with welds, what I'm gonna do is put it back in the forge, and then I'm gonna hit here along these edges and drive those kind of into each other and cinch those up nicely. And then I'm gonna smack it right here on the flats and get it uh, more like wide and narrow because that's what it needs to to fit. But I'm so close, last piece. No oil, no 
resists to the acid. And let's uh, go in. Look at that. Turned out great. Alright everybody, it's the moment you've been waiting for. We spent three long videos. This project took forever. There is snow on the ground. When I started, it was hot. It was almost a year ago that this thing got planned. And now we're here at the finale. Oh. And now we're here at the finale from beginning to end. Thanks for watching. Let's do it. I had a lot of fun, but I'm ready for a nap. So let's give the people what they want. Slice and dice. Oh!